did NASCAR tell Ross Chastain to calm down on Sunday when racing Ryan Blaney? We've got a classic he said, he said happening here on a Wednesday. The season's already over, but the drama hasn't stopped. So on this week's episode of Door Bumper Clear, and I understand that's about as reliable as a resource as Bob Nightingale is with baseball. But on there, they mentioned that NASCAR went down and told Ross Chastain to calm down when racing Ryan Blaney for the lead on Sunday in NASCAR's championship race. And, you know, now that's been disputed by NASCAR and by Ross Chastain's crew chief. So listen to what Brett Griffin had to say this week on Door Bumper Clear, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Friday night, you saw what to do, how they did it last night. Let, you know, let's make it more like last night. So when Blaney hit Ross Chastain, Ross Chastain's spotter was fussed at by a NASCAR official. Really? Yes. The, the official went down there and said, what are you doing? And the guy's like, what am I doing? I'm trying to win a race. Right. But he didn't want Ross Chastain to be, I don't know, racing, I guess, Blaney that hard. Because why? Here comes here comes Truex in the picture. Like they didn't want another shisho on their hands. Uh so clearly he says that NASCAR went and told Ross Chastain to calm down. And I don't know how Brett knows this, because as far as I'm concerned, he wasn't spotting in this race. And I don't think that he was scanning the ones radio, which we'll get to that in a second. But then Joel Edmonds. Eric Almirola, spotter, joins the podcast about an hour in and reiterates everything that Brett basically said. And take a listen to that. He just lets him go and goes to third. I mean, nobody's watching their cars. We're all looking at that. I don't mean to get <laughs> off topic. But I saw Sacco come scream at uh, McReynolds. I mentioned that earlier before because you got NASCAR here, so I'm glad you're was in Sacco's ear going to calm him down, maybe to, for, to keep the host of our thing from happening. They wanted Ross to calm down. Because <clears throat> Ross, yeah, they're not saying anything to the to, – the 12 that I can see. Yeah, I'll take one of them. I'm about out figured, over here. I figured Sorry, I didn't mean to get off on I didn't even know. No, no. So I, well, yeah. <laughs> Listen. So now we have two spotters, one that was actively spotting in the race, and then another one who was just, I think, at the racetrack. Both say that NASCAR told Ross Chastain to calm down when racing Ryan Blaney. And whether that means calm down to let Ryan Blaney pass or what, they don't really, you know, build on their point there. But at the same time, I think we all kind of understand what the uh what the interpretation of that is so having said that phil surgeon Ross Chastain's crew chief went on sirius xm nascar on wednesday and said at no point did nascar tell his driver to calm down at any point on sunday especially when racing ryan blaney and then nascar through their spokesman mike ford also said that nascar officials did not at any point tell Ross Chastain to calm down. He said what did happen was there was a confrontation on the roof between the spotter of the one car and the spotter of the 12 car. Apparently things got heated between them and a NASCAR official went down and told both of those guys to calm down because you don't want spotters fighting on the roof, uh, definitely not during a green flag run. Having those two guys on the ground wrestling while their cars are out there racing and nobody being able to watch what's happening right there, that's not a good look for anybody especially on a sport where they should distance themselves from WWE as much as they can instead of having all these people come in, it doesn't matter. One thing that does matter is NASCAR never told Ross Chastain to calm down. So then you have Freddie Kraft going on Twitter on Wednesday afternoon being like, quote tweeting what Phil Surgeon said and what SiriusXM NASCAR said that he said by saying, oh, he just doesn't want to rock the boat. Well, it's not that he's not rocking the boat or doesn't want to, it's that there's no boat to be rocked because what you guys said is factually not true. And I'm going to trust the guy that was listening to his driver's radio the entire time. Because if there's anybody that's going to know if NASCAR told his driver to calm down, it's the guy that's constantly talking to him throughout the race. So I, I have to side with Phil and, and NASCAR on this one saying that if they didn't tell Ross to calm down, then they didn't tell him to calm down. And instead, you have Freddie out here trying to defend his co-host, which is admirable, of course, like stick up for your guys. But what your guy said was wrong. And they didn't, they weren't listening to, they weren't scanning the ones radio at that point. They weren't listening to what was going on. All they saw was a NASCAR official go down and talk to the one in the 12, and they just jumped to assumptions. And we all understand what happens when you do that. Never jump to conclusions. And that's exactly what I think they did in this situation, is they saw a NASCAR official talking to the spotter of the one car, and they just assumed that that official was telling him to tell his driver to calm down when racing Ryan Blaney, because they were racing pretty tough, and according to DBC, they didn't want to see a repeat of what happened on Friday night. And that was never going to happen. And Ross said in the po post-race, he said, I was never going to wreck the 12 car. I'm going to race him hard, 
but I don't care if he's racing for a championship. I'm racing for a win. That's essentially what he said. I'm paraphrasing here. And I don't think Ryan Blaney, Ryan Blaney, of course, had an issue with it. But I think when he goes back and watches it, like he understands it wasn't the craziest race racing that we've ever seen. So at the end of the day, this is all really a story about nothing that was generated by door bumper clear. And if they're not careful, they're going to find themselves in the NASCAR hauler come Daytona. And Daddy Dale is going to have to come bail them out once again. You can't just go around making up assumptions because you see something that you think might be happening. When in reality, it was just a official going down and being like, hey, knock it off. We don't need our spotters up here fighting each other. While humorous and would be a really lame fight, John West Townley and Spencer Gallagher-esque for sure, it, there's no point in having that happen on the roof. So not often do you or will you or see, will you hear me or will you see me side with NASCAR on many things. In this case though, especially Mike Ford, he loves those green flag passing numbers, which are just, they don't tell the whole truth about anything. Side point though, what he said though, I'm gonna side with them. I'm gonna side with NASCAR. I'm going to side with Phil and everybody at the one car that said, and they never told us to calm down. And honestly, like if they did, it didn't work because Ross still raced him and still won the race. So at the end of the day, DBC, potentially maybe once again maybe fabricated a story out there in my opinion and jumped to conclusions before they actually knew all the facts and freddie's carrying the water for him doesn't need to do that it's okay to admit when you're wrong and he it is kind of ironic that he won't just admit that like they were wrong because he on the same podcast talking about the nascar state of the sport was like you know it's okay to get up there and be like yeah there's things we need to work on well, in DBC's case, there's things you need to work on and probably not let the guy that isn't spotting and not scanning the radios say, oh yeah, this happened because clearly didn't from the sounds of it by the people that would actually know. So like and subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok at Breakheart, Instagram and Twitter at Breakheart Blog.